Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Programs in Windows crash, stop working, decide to shut themselves down. Windows may wish to report this incident to its central servers. And this is being done. Uh, no personal information is being transferred back and forth, at least this is what Microsoft tells us. And I can tell you with a certain amount of assurance that the information that is being transmitted about the software crashes is being used to fix bugs moving forward. They take all the data collectively, look at the bugs that are most likely to happen or are happening the most, and then fix those bugs first in future software revisions. This has been told to me by a few people who work inside at Microsoft. Chris H. in the chat room uh, wrote in and said, I was wondering about something. In Vista, sometimes I get an annoying pop-up when closing out a program that says the program has stopped responding. They say something about Windows. We'll try to find a solution and fix it. Any idea about how to get rid of this pop-up or why it's happening to me? Well, Chris, it's not just happening to you. It happens to everybody. Uh, the program just stopped responding. It's crashing. It's not working right. And Windows or the, uh, I guess, the App Reporting Center needs to find out what's going wrong. If you open up your control panel, go to the Problem Reports and Solutions applet, um, you'll get a list of all the problems or all the crashes that Windows has experienced, at least in the recent past, or specifically within Windows Vista. Here on my screen, in my applet, it says contact Roxio for support, problem caused by Firefox, problem caused by Windows. These are some issues that I've had, problems that have really yet to be resolved. If I go in to change the settings, I can choose to check for solutions automatically, which is what's the recommended behavior, or ask me to check if a problem occurs. I have it set just to check for solutions automatically. Or in the advanced settings there, digging down even deeper, uh, there's an option for my programs. Problem reporting is on or off. I've got it turned on. You can turn it off. It'll never report the problems at all. You can scroll down even further and sending additional information. You can take the check mark out of the box for automatically send more information if it's needed to help solve problems. Uh, you can send a block list. Don't send information about the following programs. Uh, you can choose uh, allow go down to each specific user and change the reporting set settings for each user. Uh, you can always turn problems uh, reporting on, off, or again toggle it by each user. In this particular control panel applet is where you're going to find all your problem reporting settings. My recommendation is keep it on. I realize it may be annoying, but I, I think more than anything you're trying to figure out how to make Windows not crash. <laughs> And when I say Windows, programs not crash when you close them. You'd be best off contacting the software developers and saying, look, this is a problem that's been happening in Windows Vista specifically. Um, and the XP, the program, pro program, the program may have crashed, but it, the reporting mechanism is set up differently in earlier versions of Windows than in Windows Vista. This is a vast improvement for uh, for Vista and a vast improvement for Windows. This is good information that developers need to know about. They need to know when, where, how their program may be crashing so that they can fix the bugs moving forward. So if you want to turn it off, that's where you turn it off. Good luck, Chris.